this is amazing now we have access to devin as you can see here now we have access to the ai engineer who is going to perform task for us i have tested this here is an example where i asked it to create a python package to generate random numbers it went on creating the python package ran the code using planner it went through step by step using editor it was able to create files and finally it automatically pushed those files in my GitHub repo, as you can see here, pushed by Devin AI. This is really exciting. Completely automatically done by Devin. Next, I gave Tesla stock growth projection. It ran code. It browsed the internet. It created files. It planned step by step. And finally, I got this chart with the forecast for Tesla. Next, I asked it to go through a website and give me a summary. And it gave me a summary. Next, I asked it to browse a YouTube video. It browsed the YouTube video, got the information, and it gave me here. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Devin Demo. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to use this tool, how to create a task, and how it performs. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Welcome to Devin Technical Preview. I got an invitation from Devin team to access the tool. And here is the tool. We can ask here to perform a task in the settings. You are able to connect your GitHub account so it can automatically push new changes to your GitHub account. You can also save your secrets here in the settings page. In this way, Devin can use this information to perform a task. You can create a new session and then provide a talk. Maximum five is the allowed session per person now. So there's a limit there. So I was not able to create more than five sessions. First, I asked, create a Python package to automatically generate a random number and package it so that it's ready to be published. So first step from the planner, it listed all the things. You can even preview the steps it followed. It created a new directory, initialized new package, wrote the Python code, created the readme file. I can click this to automatically see the progress. This is intuitive on the steps it took to complete the process. And I can even go through the shell command. So when I navigate through this, I can see all the commands Devin executed. And finally, it tested the package and I can see it pushed those results to GitHub. It saves all the version history. You can see the list of files created and also it stores all the modification in version control using git asked me to give the github repo url so i created a repo called random number generated and provided the credentials which is github personal token which i created from here in github next it used that information and pushed the package to github automatically now i can even ask you to modify the existing code and push it to the github directory this automates the process and makes the work simpler taking the development process to the next level. Next, I asked it to create a movie script about robots in Moon using Prazen AI Python package using Grok. I provided the Grok API key. Then it installed the package and it confirmed that it's working correctly. It used the Grok API key. In the documentation of Prazen AI package, the base URL for Grok is not provided. So I had to provide that. And I asked it to use Llama 3 8 billion parameter model. Finally, it ran the code and gave me the movie script. Here you can see the list of plans. In the shell, you can see all the list of commands it ran. You can see Prazen AI used the crew AI package within that and it generated the movie script. Here's the code which it used to generate the script and here is the script stored in the .txt file. This is really exciting considering this is just a package created one month before. Next, I ask it to create, give me a stock price growth of Tesla and its projection. Then it access the historical data. When I click, you can see it tried to browse the internet. Then it created a Python code. It used a Python code as you can see here and it's used alphavantage.co. It asked me for the API key, I provided that. It used the Arima model to do the forecasting. It also verified the findings by browsing NASDAQ. And finally, I got a chart like this. Tesla stock price analysis with projections. It used the Arima model and it gave me the forecast value here. And here's the projection for the next five days. 
Next, I asked to go through this website, mer.vin, that's my website, and give me a summary. And it did go through the website and gave me a summary here. The website mer.vin is a technical blog and portfolio for Mervin Prison. And it gave me a quick summary of the blog articles I created. Next, I gave a YouTube video. It did go through the YouTube video. As you can see, it's browsing the video and finally gave a summary. The video is about how to create and publish multiple AI agents to production. That is really nice. By going backward, you can see it also browsed my website when I asked it to do so. There is one more thing which I want to show you, which is that you can create a snapshot of what it did. So I can click this button and this is the response, providing a snapshot name, website summary, description summary about emia.vn website and praise an AI pack. Create snapshot and kill session and that's it. I can see the snapshot is getting created. Meanwhile, I want to show you one more task which I did. I asked Devin to fix an issue in a Python package. So this is the error reported grok variables in .env not working. So I posted this information to Devin and it did go through the error. It clearly identified that grok variables in .env not working. You can see it tested here. It didn't work. Then it exported those values. Then grok works perfectly fine. So it verified the error. Then you can see it's proposing a fix based on that. Then it ran the code and confirmed that it is working. Finally, you can see it created a pull request into the develop branch of Prison AI package. And here is the pull request. And this is the pull request done by Devin AI. And you can see the file changes happening here. This is really amazing that it can automatically fix an error and push those changes to GitHub. And here is the response from Devin. I have created a pull request to address the issue number 20. And here is the pull request. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to try more tasks to Devin and I'm going to create videos soon. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.